from WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brian Reed. It's been nearly 24 years since East Hartford police officer Brian Asselton was killed on duty. He was just 26. Every year since his death, people in East Hartford have a run, which is a 5K, including Sunday. The money goes to programs helping children. Officer Asselton's scholarship fund has been a huge success over the years, awarding more than 300 scholarships. Multiple agencies in Norwich have begun investigating a fire that broke out Wednesday from a second story apartment on Norwich Avenue. That's in addition to the fire marshal's office. We've also learned two firefighters were injured in that blaze. We'll keep you up to date as we get more information on what could have started it. And we want to remind you again about your hero pay distribution. They'll be sent in batches starting early next month. If you applied, then you should have received an email between November 1st and December 19th. The status emails would have come from the Public Consulting Group, or PCG. This comes after lawmakers approved another $30 million for the Hero Pay Fund. 200,000 people applied. Only 155,000 essential workers are eligible. $1,000 bonuses will be given to those who make under $50,000 a year and less than that if you earn more. Now, if you didn't receive an email or aren't sure of your status, you have to call PCG. CG directly. We have plenty of information on our website and on the Channel 3 app. Well, temperatures as we head into Monday morning will start off in the 20s most places, maybe low 30s along the immediate shoreline before they start going back upwards. We may start with a little rain or snow mix along the shoreline or some light snow showers as far inland as I-84. Otherwise, just mostly cloudy skies to start with afternoon sunshine. Temperatures warming easily into the 40s as we start off the week. Progressing forward, those 40s turn into upper 30s for highs Wednesday and Thursday. And then we have our next primarily rainmaker late Thursday into Friday. And it will be turning breezy as well, looking drier now as we look ahead towards next weekend with clouds decreasing on Saturday, some chilly overnight lows in the next few days.